If you reverse the Tory cuts in capital gains tax, you save over £2 billion, and that is more than enough to fund the 10,000 policemen. Well, they're saying it's nonsensical because you've already spent this money when talking about other pledges you've committed um, to the, the capital gains tax, the money you'll get from that, that £2 billion, to things like school, welfare and the arts. So you've already spent that money. How can you spend it on 10,000 police officers? We've not actually committed that money to anything. We've used these huge cuts in capital gains tax, uh, cuts which will only help the top 5%. We've used them to illustrate the type of places where we could get the money to fund some of our policies. But as we roll out our manifesto, you will see that each policy pledge is specifically costed. And this is a really important issue, the rise in violent crime on our streets. So you're confident that the, the money you'll get by reversing cuts to capital gains tax will cover arts funding or will cover schools? In 2016, Jeremy Corbyn said that he wanted to tackle teacher shortages and class sizes with this money. And also welfare, uh, reversing the cuts to universal credits would be funded by this as well, plus 10,000 police officers. So the, all of that can fund those four pledges. I'm confident that we haven't specifically allocated the 2.7 billion. But you've made up, promises. Up and, Jeremy up, Corbyn, no, John McDonnell have all stood up and said we by reversing capital gains tax, we will help tackle these problems. You will find that we haven't specifically allocated the money. We are rolling out our manifesto, and this morning I am specifically allocating some of the 2.7 billion to funding the 10,000 policemen. Okay, so will arts funding schools and welfare still get? some of that money or have you just said that we and you're going back on it cost each item in our manifesto and if you watch the space you'll see that our manifesto is fully funded and fully costed okay but just going back you have said that reversing cuts to capital gains tax will help arts funding schools and welfare will that be in the manifesto fully costed our policies will be fully costed. And I, I have to say, I think it suits the Tories not to talk about the loss of 20,000 police officers, not to talk about the rise in violent crime, but to quibble about figures. Our manifesto will be fully costed. And what people want to know, they want answers to their worries about the rise in violent crime. OK, well, uh, rest assured, any Conservative policies, we will be questioning them on funding as well. And let's talk about these 10,000 additional police officers. It'll work out uh, one police officer uh, per ward. Is it a bit old-fashioned? Jeremy Corbyn himself called it putting more bobbies on the beat, which itself is an old-fashioned term. Is that the way to tackle modern policing when you're looking at cybercrime, um, social media campaigns that police need to address and, and counter-terrorism? Would that money not be spent elsewhere better? These will be community police officers. And one of the things that most concerns the Labour Party is the rise in knife crime and gun crime. And there's no question but that what can com community support officers do to tackle knife crime and gun crime? Community outreach, getting people to come forward, to trust the police, to come forward with information. We saw in the very recent um, terrorist issue in Westminster, one of the reasons that the police were able to track the suspect was family members coming forward with enhanced community policing I think the community will have be more able to come forward with important evidence